Hi guys! Oh, I am so excited. Coming up, we have not just one vlog. We have a series of vlogs for you. I'm so excited. I have spent my past week filming, vlogging tons of footage for you. Went to the Sulax, Escanaba. I toured the whole UP, the whole UP. I'm gonna be doing a series of different vlogs. This is number one. Series, episode one. Ah, I'm so excited! So much work went into all this. I have not even started editing quite yet, but you know. Super, super excited, guys. The first vlog is going to be a focus on Mackinac City, not Island. Didn't make it to that this time, but the city, Mackinac Bridge, all the goodies, and the Sulox. Spent two days at Sault Ste. Marie, Got to see the Sulox, which was really cool because I hadn't been there since I was like 10, 11. So it had been like literally 25, 26 years, giving away my age. Oh well. But spent two days there eating, drinking, touring, filming to bring you fantastic travel vlogs on Michigan! Ha!
I'm gonna go out there. Uh, I'm gonna go out there. Are you? Yep. Absolutely amazing right now. I am standing directly under the Mackinac Bridge. There's TV. Amazing. Uh -huh. And it's so nice to see everybody out and about, even on a Monday. Yes, families. Yep, I'll walk in. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice big one. Now the cool thing is, when you're standing next to Big Mac, right there, to the right side, is Lake Huron. The left side is Lake Michigan.
Yes, please. Get my blueberry. I saw it down there. Thank you. Here are a few little fun facts you may not know about the Sulax. 100% of all iron ore passes through the locks annually. 22 million gallons of water are required to raise and lower a boat. Thank God the locks are powered by gravity. All the water moves in and out of the lock chambers by just opening and closing valves.
Since 1934, the original Sioux Locks Boat Tours offers a 90-minute tour through the Sioux Locks. Both sides, U.S. and Canadian side. The tour is approximately 90 minutes, aka two hours long, and each lock tour is about $29 per adult. We are now back at the Sioux Locks. It's now the evening and I'm looking for more ships coming in. I hear a horn of one. Let's see what we can get. This is the lower part of the docks. Those are the wooden doors that close behind or in front of the ship that's entering or leaving the locks so that the water can be raised or lowered accordingly to the direction and lake that the ship is going into.
heading up the stairs from the Sulox Park it takes you up to the rear side of the locks. This here is the locks post office, headquarters, and I do believe a library. All these little carts and working men cruise around to get the ship's mail and extras to them.
much cool things on this ship to do from old Great Lakes maps. Here at Valley Camp, this is pretty amazing because it's not just focused on one ship that is, of course, history and we have the history of it. You also have Edmund Fitzgerald. There's at least a hundred artif different artifacts from a hundred different ships here on this, including your Hall of Famers, all your sea captains from the Great Lakes. It's pretty amazing. Right now, I am getting ready to go to upper deck and lower deck. And look at this, lower deck, look at this. It's always really creepy, it's creepy, but it's so cool. And upper deck. Next. suckers. Look at them. Look at the latches. Super. Super. This is 
Michigan. This is your state. Visit your state. You do? That I like, I want that. That's cute. So, what'd you think? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Those big old ships coming in. Sault St. Marie was probably one of the best cities I've enjoyed in a long time. That was that was a pretty cool trip. Um, ended up staying two whole days in Sault St. Marie and really totally enjoyed myself. Like, 100%. Actually, just sat down. <laughs> Even though I just got home from vacation and editing this vlog and everything else, I'm packing. I actually today took off with my sister and we went <laughs> all the way up to Muskegon, Grand Haven. Holland again, a separate little park that actually we didn't mean to run across, but it ended up being like this really cool place. I didn't get any vlogging on that and I'm really upset about that, but I'm going back for sure. Um, so excuse me here. I, 
no time to do anything. So you're getting the raw footage right now. Yeah. This is the Amanda after vacay and vlogging again and traveling to the whole other side of the state. My microphone is falling. I got a little rambunctious there. Okay. So yeah. Um, going back to work tomorrow too. So I've got a lot going on, but I really like that. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the Mackinac City short little trip there that was on our way up. We initially spent our night in the Sulox, but that particular park right there next to um, the bridge is my absolute favorite park. I, that's tradition for me and my daughter. One of my faves. One of my faves. It's really... Um, Anyway, the UP, Sulak, Sault Ste. Marie, everything, it was so busy. It was fantastic. The whole, the whole trip, we'll get to that. But just the Sulak and Sault Ste. Marie and Mackinac City, the whole, it was wonderful. It was so busy. It's so good to see people getting out and, and putting time into their own state ha good stuff good to see it was super cool um i'm hoping that me making these vlogs are inspiring you and showing you what michigan has to offer this like i said was Episode one, one, one. I'll be working on two and three, two next, and then there's going to be a few more. And then I've got a few more in the queue waiting to be edited. I'm learning. Anyway, time to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below. Please comment below or like it. Subscribe it. Let me know how I'm doing. You guys are actually being really good with that. I'm really happy about that. But subscribe. Subscribe. Bye.